It's on this here. So, just finished my workout. Just did a run this morning. I was listening to a book. I'm going to do a book review today. And a book called uh, Zorba the Greek. You can check it out here. Uh, it's a book that has come up on my radar a few different times for various reasons. But, really interesting book. It doesn't really have very much of a plot <laughs> at all. It's a kind of a long book. But really, it's a book about life. Like, the, the premise of the book is this guy, I don't even know the, the main writer of the book, but uh, he meets this guy Zorba, Zorba the Greek, who is basically someone who lives life, like actually lives. And, you know, the author or the narrator of the book, he's sort of a bookworm and, you know, a scholar. And he's, you know, he's more careful. He measures things out. But he meets this kind of fantastical character, uh, Zorba the Greek. And he sort of transforms. He sort of changes. He sort of sees, you know, you, you look at Zorba and he's this guy that's, you know, he's got it kind of figured out. He's got it uh, a lot more figured out than most people. He sees everything in life uh, for the first time when he sees it, right? So everything is new. Everything is... You know, he sees a shooting star, he's amazed by it. He sees, you know, the hills and the sea. He's amazed by it, it's like he's seen it for the first time. And Zorba, of course, is this, you know, womanizer that is like, <laughs> has, you know, just goes from town to town finding the widows and, um, but, and, and he, but everything he does in life, he puts his 100% into, right? And it's kind of weird, because he, you know, you look at him and you're like, you know, at the surface level, you're like, ah, oh, this guy, he's kind of like, a reckless, like careless kind of guy, but uh, you know, he he sees the beauty in everything, right? He sees it all as new and he wonders about, you know, the the universe, I think, and you know, has this awe for it that I think it's really easy to lose that most people don't have. And so it's really interesting, you know, the book is really about this you know, the the, the, the about life and the what is the point of life? You know, there's some death in the book and you know, it, and it's interesting because on one hand, Zorba is this, you know, grizzled veteran, fought many wars, killed many people. And on the other hand, he's this guy that like has a, you know, the kindest heart ever, right? That he, he sees a beauty in, in every single thing that, uh, that exists. So it's a real good book. I don't really listen to much fiction. I say listen because I was going for my run while I was listening to this book, it's really long. I'm gonna go check out the movie sometime. There was a movie made of this, but um, I definitely recommend it. It's definitely one of those books to make you think and to maybe just reconsider some things, you know? Um, I'd say that kind of the overall message of the book you know, is sort of like, you know, just live your life and fuck it, whatever happens, whatever consequences, you know, just you have to live to the fullest because, you know, that's all there is. And it's, you know, to some degree, it's meaningless and senseless. And you can ask these questions and you can think you got it figured out. And certain people need structures in their life in order to make sense of it all. But um, but it, it comes down to a waste. And, and, and you don't know. You know. You don't know how long you got. You know what's going to happen. And it's kind of interesting, you know. I think there's a little bit of a stoic sort of mindset there. You know, the, the end of the book, they were setting up this this whole contraption to like ship some lumber and it catastrophically all fails right and they're at this point you know they're both just laughing about it and they're making the most of it and it's kind of you know there's a, there's a point where the where the narrator of the book talks about how like you know at um at your worst right when everything is destroyed all your plans come to ruin uh, and you and you're still alive you're still there that's that's kind of when you realize the strength of the soul, right? Is that, and, and there's almost this uh, uh, happiness, this joy, in knowing that everything that can be destroyed, but you, you still endure on, right? And I think that's life. And it's like, you can take things seriously, and you can worry about shit, or you can just live, and then, you know, and then laugh off everything that happens, because it doesn't, none of it really fucking matters, right? Like, what is so important? Right? This is something that I've been thinking about lately. It's just like, you know, you make it important. You make it serious. You make it grave. But, you know, it just is what it is. And, uh, and, and you don't have to attach that much meaning to anything.
All right, well, that's all I got for you today. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below. Click the bell so you don't miss any videos. Talk to you next time, bigger.